A high school student in Washington is making 3D printed masks for Biden health workers. Mounting your signs, Madeline Ashley continues our team coverage with a look at his process and how he's helping in the fight against COVID 19. John Henchy is 15 years old and he's helping adults fight the pandemic, and he's doing it with a 3D printer. That printer is making masks for hospital workers. That's kind of been something that I've always done. I got a 3D printer uh, late last year. Hinchy turned his hobby into life-saving work. I'm making um, these face shields, which kind of, you know, protect uh, frontline medical staff from, like, sneezes and coughs. The process is easier than it looks. Just uh, print this part on the printer. And it's, you know, starting back there. And then you just take a plastic ejector sheet and have some hole punches in it. And then it just slides right on. Each mask takes about an hour to print. Hinchy and his printer are working around the clock. 20 a day. And um, I made about 100 and I donated about 82. Each mask costs less than a dollar to make. But even at that low of a price, the cost adds up. And she is getting help through donations and other 3D printing companies are joining the effort. In the next few weeks, I, I partnered with some 3D printing businesses in Greenville and we should have, you know, a few hundred to donate at the end of these two weeks. And she says he's happy to help others during this time. It's also teaching him something. I've barely done anything in like the medical world, so it's a lot of new stuff, but, you know, I mean, I'm learning. Hinge says he's going to continue providing these masks until the virus peaks. In Greenville, Madeline Ashley, 9 on your side.